everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter, and I am here with another Silhouette Studio tutorial for you. Um, this one is actually a bonus video for National Scrapbook Day. Over on my blog, you will see um, my tutorial video for this layout here, um, My Wonderful Sun. Now, there are several elements that were cut from my silhouette on this, um, but the one that I'm going to show you how to make is this actually this tabbed um, photo mat here. It could be a file folder tab type thing or like a index card tab thing. You could use it for a lot of different things. I also created these strips with the stars in them as well. Um, this wonderful was cut from my silhouette but that one I did not create. That was one I purchased in the store and you can find that link over on my blog. So let's go back over to our silhouette studio and I have just a blank file opened here and I'm going to start by selecting this round rectangle tool here and I'm just going to draw my rectangle. Now I happen to use a three and a half by five inch um, photo for this. I couldn't think of the word. So um, I will draw that to where it would be slightly bigger than that. So three and a half, uh, three point seven five ish to five and a half, three and a half by five. So about that big is how big I want my photo mat. Now, when you have this tool, uh, the shape selected, you can see these two little red dots here. And I want to show you um, what these do with this round rectangle tool because it will come into play with the shape. If I just grab this top red circle here and start dragging, you will see that it changes this corner here, along the top here, along the top here, and the um, corresponding corners here. Now, if I want to, and this, then, you know, all the corners are not equally round. If, I'm going to just go ahead and hit Control Z to undo that. So we're back to our original shape. If I want to make these corners more rounded, but I want to keep everything in proportion, all the corners the same, I'm going to hold down my Shift key, and then I can start grabbing these red um, circles here and spreading them out. And as you can see, then it kept everything equal all the way around. So for this particular shape, I just kind of eyeballed it and just made it slightly round. And I'm just holding down my Shift key again so everything stays the same. And there I have the base of my tabbed photo, or my, yeah, tabbed photo mat. So I'm going to actually grab this um, round rectangle tool again, and I am just going to create my tab. Now I'm just going to click and drag again and just make, you know, eyeball it here, because I can always, um, you know, change the size as I go along. And I will just kind of once again hold down my shift key and round these out just a little bit um, and I'm gonna drag it over here now the key to creating this for me was that when this rounded the smaller rounded rectangle was intersected with this larger rounded rectangle I did not want any of this curved line here to show I want it to be straight up from there and straight up from there so that looks just about right. Um, I don't remember the exact dimensions that I created. Um, you just kind of have to eyeball it. So there are my two shapes. And I can go ahead and click and drag around both of those shapes. And then I'm going to go down here to this weld selected shapes into one shape. And there you can now see that I have my tabbed photo. Now, you, once you've made the shape, if you need to make it a little bit larger, you can just click and drag and it will stay in proportion there. So there is my um, base shape. I'm going to go ahead and go over to the library and just show you quickly how I added those stars into this. And I'm just going to search by star. And this happens to be the star that I have. And I just made it work. And I'll show you how I did that. I brought the star onto my mat and I selected. And I'm going to ungroup these shapes by hitting Command U. And now I have three individual stars you can see here. And I only need one of those stars, so I'm just going to click the larger stars and delete them. And then I'm going to take this star here, and I'm just going to make it super tiny. 
um, about maybe that big. Bring it down here and see if it fits. It maybe actually needs to be a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to click and drag that to about the size. And like I said, I just really eyeball these things. I don't use exact measurements. So I'm going to go ahead and reselect this star by clicking on it. And I'm going to go up here to the replicate window. And I'm going to choose this option here, duplicate below. And you'll see that my star just duplicated below. And then I have three stars on that tab, so I'm going to go ahead and duplicate below again. And now I have um, these stars in that tab, and they are um, spaced nicely. Now, if you were to duplicate something and you wanted to make sure that your spacing is correct, um, you know, say these were, you know, just here and here and here. Um, I'm going, I could select all of those stars go to the align window here and click that and I could let's see I want to space them vertically and then I want to align center so now I have just brought those into a perfect row now these are actually a little bit too far spaced for what I want unless I want it to fill the entire tab um, so that duplicate below actually put it directly below where I needed it and kept them not only centered but spaced correctly as well. So I'm just going to delete these once again. I can select this, move it over to where I want it on my tab, and then I'll show you that again. Just go to this replicate window here and then duplicate below and duplicate below. And there you have it. A quick and easy photo mat for you. You could use it, like I said, for a lot of different things. Um, it looks like here that I had actually had my stars on the bottom, but you can use it whatever you want. Use hearts for a little girl, stars for your little boy, whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed this Silhouette Studio tutorial, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.